One of the fundamental skills you'll need in Photoshop is using the selection tools. Now these tools can do a lot more than a lot of people realize. And also there's a lot of hidden keyboard shortcuts and different things you can do with selections that I'm gonna show you right now. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and today we're going to take a dive into the selection tool and I'm going to show you a ton of things you can do in there that maybe you weren't aware of. I'm also going to show you a sort of a hidden menu I'd like to say that a lot of people just really are not aware of. So let's jump in right now. I want to select this. Now before I do, why don't I just make a copy of this because maybe one of the things you want to do is straighten it out or maybe you want to have it just like this. I'm going to show you both ways. So the quickest way to straighten this out is actually just to go to filter and then go to camera raw filter, believe it or not. Then under camera raw, we're just going to go up here and invoke our transform tool. And this will bring up upright. Now, why don't we just go in here and we're going to select on the full upright and notice this gets rid of most of the distortion. Just click OK. So now you can see we've got a more straightened out version versus that version. Now you might want to need to squish it a little bit, so just control T or command T it will enable us to do that. And I'm just doing the Alt or the Option key to push it from the middle. And there we go. Notice that we can quickly straighten that up and it makes it easier to make the selection. In fact, why don't we open up the rulers as command R and we're going to make a ruler and make sure that this is straight. Control T once again for free transform and we've got it there. Here's the trick. The trick is if you hold down the space bar, you can move this around as you're drawing it. So why don't we hold Alt to do it from the center and I'm also holding down the space bar so I can move this around. All right, now we've got a selection. What we wanna do though is we wanna take away from that selection. So if we hold down the Alt or the Option key, notice that this will change to a minus. Now if I click and drag, this is actually going to take away from the selection. So I'm using the spacebar, of course, to reposition. And there we go. Now we've got a lifesaver kind of a selection. Now we want to make another one over here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch to the rectangular marquee tool and hit the shift key. Notice the plus will appear and now I can click and drag. And it will add to the selection. If we hit Command J or Control J, we can move that to a new layer. And we'll be able to cut that out very quickly with selections. Selections give nice clean edges. Now, now what if we're dealing with something a little bit more difficult, like at an angle? Let's uh, tackle that right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our elliptical. We're going to drag it out using that space bar to reposition it. All right, there's the selection. Now we want to do the inner selection. Remember, Alt or Option. So that would be Alt on Windows, Option on Mac. Let's draw this out. And by the way, you'll get a lot faster the more you do this. All right, so now we've taken that. All right, now here's the thing. This is on an angle, so our rectangular selection tool is not going to work, and also it's in perspective. So what we want to do is this is a good time to use the polygon lasso tool. So once again, we're going to hit shift because we want to add. We're going to tap on that corner and notice it stretches out like a piece of gum stuck to your shoe. Click there. Move to the next one. And my hand is off the shift key because otherwise that's going to constrain it. But it doesn't matter because we started with the shift key. So now see that little circle enables us to close that click. And once again, Let's have a look, see what we've done. Control or Command J. And there we go, we're able to cut that out at an angle. Now the nice thing about these selection tools, once again, is it's gonna give you very, very even edges. It's gonna be very smooth edges. All right, let's have a look at something a little bit more difficult now. So here's a car, and let's zoom in. The wheels are sort of spinning, but I'd like to see these wheels spinning more. So here's the thing, if I grab my elliptical marquee tool and I wanna select this wheel, let me just zoom in a little bit. Here's the problem. 
So the problem with this is it's an oval, but it's not just an oval, it's an angled oval. And there's no way to do that with the elliptical marquee tool, or is there? I'm going to show you something that's been in Photoshop forever, but a lot of people are not aware of it. And this is almost like your magic bullet when it comes to working with selections inside of Photoshop. So what we're going to do is go into the select menu. Under the select menu, you're going to see something called transform selection. And now we have the same transform handles that you have on everything else. And you can use this to rotate. So now we can turn that ellipse around and if I hold down the shift key, that'll just drag it out from side to side. See that? And now you can start to work that way. Now there's another thing you can do is if you hold down the control key or the command key, you can move each individual point on its own and that enables us to fine tune the selection and get it spot on. So we can just click select OK. You know, come on, J, just to show you, I've cut that out. And of course, you know, you could use the, the radial blur filter to spin that. Let's just go into blur gallery. Then we're going to do the spin blur. And if we want to drop our center point in here, we can. All right, I've got a question for you guys. How many of these were new to you? Let us know in the comments underneath. I'm really curious to see what you learned in this tutorial. And if you love Photoshop, don't forget to subscribe right now. And also ring that notification bell so you know when I upload a new tutorial, which is every single Tuesday. So anyway, guys, if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.